Gemini. Welcome to Alexander Tarot. This is going to be a bonus reading to see who's coming towards you in love, okay? This is going to be for Gemini. For those who have Gemini anywhere in their natal chart, please check your chart. Time is fluid. Anytime that you press play is a time for you to receive these messages. Okay. Also, I'm offering personal readings. So if you're interested, please click on the link in the description box below. And my channel is currently on um, <laughs> copyright suspension to October 1st. I was, I think I've said this in past videos. I was reposting content creators, emotion, um, what am I saying? Um, inspiring post in my shorts videos. I gave credit to the content creator. I never took credit for their work. And I thought that was allowed. <laughs> to help, I just did that to help uplift you guys. And it's not allowed. You know, for YouTube, you cannot even use any content creator stuff, even if you plug in their information and give them credit. Lesson learned. However, my channel is currently on a shadow ban, meaning it's not cert my videos are not circulating as they were during this shadow ban, the algorithm is keeping that from happening. However, I do have a lot of you guys that are with me. I'm getting more views. On a positive note, things are starting to pick up and this is only through October. So if you're with me, if you're riding with me still, please let me know. Drop the hand waving emoji in the comments to let me know you're still with me. I'd appreciate that guys, whether it resonates or not. <laughs> okay, and let's get going. We're gonna start this reading off by pulling some signifiers. Okay, as indicators as to what this reading will entail. Okay. okay. The overall energy is clarity and belief. All right. Somebody here is wants clarity and belief and that things, you know, in order to move forward, that's what they need. Forgive me. They are seeking clarity and belief. That could be you or your person wanting to believe to have faith and love and just wanting clarity on a situation, okay? All right, so I have refusing to see, being crowned by blossoming. Someone's refusing to see something here, okay? It's refusing to see the truth about something and that's what's stalling the growth because it's being crowned by a blossom, which is growth, all right? But there's something that you, someone needs to see. Trust is about faith and it's crowned by flow, okay? Things will be, things will flow, but you have to allow yourself to have faith, okay? That's you or your person. Moving on, all right? It's being crowned by detached. Because just because you physically move on from someone doesn't mean that you've moved on. If they're still in your energy, then there's still some sort of emotional detachment that has to take place, okay? So it's like, yes, I want to move on from this person. I'm not with this person. I've moved on. However, have you detached from them? That's a different kind of removal process, all right? So that's either you or your person. Now let's go into the tarot to see what messages the divine has for you in far, as far as who's coming towards Gemini. Show me the messages for Gemini in love. Who's coming towards Gemini in love? Show me the messages that Gemini needs to see. Okay, this is a really good start. The Empress popped out. Okay. When the cards come out completely sideways like this, I'll put them back in because it either has to be reversed or upright. Look at these cards flipped out. All right. All right, so already off the, off the back, I'm getting the energy of someone who's unhappy. There was a, a, a breakup here. There was, there's unhappiness. Someone's devastated by how this connection ended. I feel like this is your energy and Spirit's trying to remind you that even though you're devastated, you're the Empress. You are healing. You are of love. You will continue to grow because of who you are as a person. But you have to see it for yourself. Two of Pentacles is bringing things into balance, okay? And there's a need to because with the Six of Pentacles reversed, this is someone who didn't show up for you the way that you showed up for them. This is someone that took you for granted. This is someone who didn't reciprocate. And in order for you to have what you desire, what you're worthy of as the Empress, is you need to be with somebody 
that brings you balance, okay? That's requiring the Six of Swords energy at the bottom of the deck. That requires moving on, moving forward, healing, moving towards your healing, towards your peace, okay? But there's this stuck energy of, you know, you sitting in this ha unhappiness, and that's the refusing to see. That's what's stunning your growth, okay? You're looked at as the impress, but it doesn't mean anything if you don't see yourself that way. Five of Wands. Yeah, this is someone that has you feeling conflicted. There's arguments here, petty arguments. Someone that you always got to feel like you got to defend yourself to. It's like you two can never get on the, on the same page. It's like being with someone, Gemini, but being on your own. Nine of Pentacles. You want this person. You wanted this person. You didn't need this person. You're very independent. Okay, and it's like being with someone that's still taking care of yourself. Um, there's a lot of um earth energy you could be connecting with the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn here. Show more. Yeah, this person devastated you. This there was a lot of heartache. There's a lot of guilt, remorse, regret from somebody here. Um, somebody's in isolated energy. They're feeling lonely. They're feeling abandoned by their person. Okay, but with this Seven of Swords, this is somebody that was very deceptive. Okay. They were, this person wasn't being honest. This person did something underhanded to betray you. And that's what caused all the, the sadness. So sometimes we feel like, oh, this person did all of that to me. And this person just left. And it's just like, no, this person relieved you. They wasn't worthy of you. The universe took them away from you. Okay? So that's why I have the eight. Moving on. Number eight. Moving on. Okay? So this person left. But it's just like... But it's being crowned by detached, right? It's just like, they left, they moved on. But have you detached from this person, Gemini? Show me. Again, I got to put that in because it fell out halfway. Oh, my goodness. These cards are just falling out of here. Okay. Um, I love a lot of water energy. You could be connecting with a Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces here. Um, this person gave you an illusion of love, all right, with the Seven of Cups. They were picking and choosing. They had other, other options. With the Eight of Cups reversed, so this is somebody that, you know, leave, doesn't, they're non-committal. They cause issues, they leave, and then they want to come back. They have abandonment issues with the Eight of Cups reversed. But with the Nine of Swords reversed, I see you letting go of this and just being resilient. All right, but I feel you like you know the energy, Gemini. If you're feeling just so damn tired of the bullshit, like you feel really drained by this person emotionally, you feel like damn, this person just takes all my energy. But you're learning from this, and and spirit wants you to see that, to to stay encouraged, to stay persistent, to to continue to persevere, and to continue to you know be you know live strongly with your you know you have a backbone. And you're learning from your past failures. So spirit is like, just keep going because you're going, things are going to get better for you, but you have to see it. All right. With the four of cups, this is someone that you like, I feel like even if someone's trying to come at you, you're like, you're like shutting them down. Like I get the energy of, and the seven of cups could be you having options. People coming at you, trying to hit you up and you're like, you're rejecting them. With the four of cups. But you're creating your own misery that way. And this is like focusing on a negative and it's keeping you from being happy. Okay? You have a lot of regret, though, from this person that you was connecting with. But at the same time, don't let this person win. 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Hold on a second. Alexa, stop the announcements. It might rain today. Hold on, sorry. Alexa, stop announcements. I'm sorry, guys. I have that set for a certain time. So um, I just feel this energy of come, almost like wallowing in negativity about this situation and trying to figure out what to do next. But let me tell you, this person gave you an illusion of love. And whatever you're thinking is, is just wishful thinking. Like, you have to really focus on what it is that you desire and what's best for you. Not just what you desire, but what's also best for you so that it can manifest into your life. You are the impress, but if you don't see it, then how is it supposed to appear? That's why you have trust being crowned by flow. You have to have faith if you want things to move. Okay? All right? 
but you want clarity of belief. You want to make sure that you're making the right decision about this person, and that's why you're here. Show me this um, person's... Show me more about this person that Gemini is trying to move forward from. Spirit is like, to hell with that person. You have, you have good luck coming in, but you don't see it. With this Ace of Wands reverse, you're hesitant for a new beginning. And Spirit wants you to see that. When you ask the cards questions, they tell you what it is they want you to know. Spirit wants you to know that you're, you're the reason why your new beginning hasn't come in because you're, hes you're hesitant. There's missed opportunities because you have all these options, but you're not willing to, to, to make a decision on what it is that you want. Like you need to decide what you want so that it comes towards you because with this Wheel of Fortune, there's a soulmate here. Capricorn energy. Okay? But instead, what I'm getting is four of swords energy. Just being completely stressed out, feeling overwhelmed, and just, you know, you're trying to focus on the future. You're trying to heal, but at the same time, you're very, very still. Okay. Um, show me more. Show me this person. Gemini needs to release. Two of swords reverse. The spirit of like you saw the truth about this person. Whatever this person was betraying you about, you know about it. If this is your reading, Gemini, it was exposed to you. You see the truth. So spirit is like, why are you still waiting? That's like you causing your own unhappiness. It's like this person with the four of wands verse, they left. So spirit is like, what are you waiting for? Okay. So that's it. This person left. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, spirit is like you're so focused on this person that you're not feeling motivated enough to pour into yourself with the Queen of Pentacles reverse. The Queen of Pentacles upright, it's about like nurturing, you know, prosperity, someone who's very caring, but someone who's abundant. And in your case, you're you you do not realize how abundant that you are. There's a there's insecurities here, and it's causing you to neglect what you need to do for yourself. That make that this person wins. When you do this, um, Gemini, because with the justice reverse, Libra energy, this is someone who doesn't hold themselves accountable. Like this person just doesn't care. Okay. Like they're like, I'm not, they're not being honest with you. They don't hold themselves accountable. They're, they're not willing to be what you desire. Okay. Show me this person. Well, we already see this person's feelings. They're just, there's a karmic avoidance here. This person just feels like they play the victim. Again, this card came out sideways, so let's reshuffle. Yeah, you're on your own with this person. Again, I got the Nine of Pentacles, independent. And this person likes that about you. They love that you know how to take care of yourself. They want you to take care of them. That's why they're like, what the hell? Like, you, you're you neglecting yourself for them? They're, they're looking at, at that like they're in disgust. This is they, the audacity for this person to judge you. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Spirit is like, now's the time for you to be really clear about your thoughts, okay? Like, your thoughts need to dominate your feelings. You need to be clear about your wants and needs. Again, you have to decide what it is that you want so that it comes towards you. Eight of Swords is mental entrapment. You feel stuck, but you're not. That's your mind playing tricks on you, Gemini. You can get out of this victimization energy that you're in, okay? You can be connected with the Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, this person is just not committal. Like, they don't care. They're just kind of just going through life. They're just going through this connection. They don't really They don't really give a damn. So the four of custody versus you, there's a need for you to get out of this stagnancy, stagnation and just let go. Seize new opportunities. You know, this part, This is a rock bottom situation. You know, that was whatever happened was the nail in the coffin. And you know that. Because you know what it is. It's going to be different for for all of you guys because this is a collective. But whatever this person did to you, you were like, this is it. This is the nail in the coffin. This was the ultimate disrespect. The ultimate betrayal. Okay? So show me... Show me Gemini's challenges. What is Gemini's challenge? Your challenge? Yeah, look at this. Spirit is like, there's not really a challenge here. You just got to let go. You have the Page of Cups and the Sun here. There's happiness. There's someone who's coming towards you with openness and truthfulness. Someone who's honest. Someone who's transparent. This is a this is a soft place to land on. This could be a Leo. This is, There's an orphan love coming with the Page of Cups. 
okay? Somebody may text you. If you're on social media, they may send you a message in your inbox, anything. It, it, it'll come a little, it'll come small, but it'll be very sentimental, very sweet, very cute. Okay, with the judgment here. This is usually an apology. This might be this person trying to come back. This person may want a reunion. Why is this judgment? Clarify the judgment, please. Six of Swords. Clarify the judgment. One more card, please. Someone wants to come towards you and they want to put in the work and commit to working on this, and it's, but it's going to require patience. This person is going to try to come back with, with a little something. Again, this is the person that you're trying to get away from. The non-committal person, the person that's you know pretty much in and out and not and not you know showing up for you the way you showed up for them. That person wants to come back around, and I feel like that person. The, <laughs> but why is the sun? Show me why the sun is the challenge when this person comes back around. Okay, you tend to overgive to this person with the Queen of Cups reverse. The spirit is like remain positive about this because this person is coming through like with the judgment is also about transformation so this person is going through some sort of transformation i have to give credit as credit is due they want to come in with uh, which they want your forgiveness they're going to want a reunion but spirit is saying your challenge is not to overgive just because this person is coming back in okay so it's weird when the, it's it's wild when the cards or the messages come out because the messages are being downloaded and as i'm reading them to you they're, they're becoming clear to me as well. I have to put the pieces together. And what I'm seeing is this person, this moving on is, why is this crowned by the detachment? Let me find out. Why is the moving on being crowned by detachment? Healing begins. Oh, wow. Okay. I had to ask the cards because I said, you know, moving on is being crowned by detached. So you can't really move on from something if you don't detach from it. So you do have to detach. You need to detach from from the feelings, these terrible feelings that you have. You can't take them with you. If you're deciding to heal this connection, um, Gemini, then you're going to have to, you can use your discernment, but you can't bring this bad shit into the new shit. You can't rebuild a new home with the same bricks from the other home. You know what I'm saying? So that's the thing. So it is requiring you to detach from certain feelings. Like in order to heal this connection and to move on, you're gonna have to detach yourself from all the negative feelings because the fool is here. There's a leap of faith here, Aquarius energy. So someone here, this is like, this is the energy of, of a new beginning. But you have to use your own discernment if that's what you want, it is available to you. This person coming towards you is this person that was here already. Okay, but the, the challenge is for you not to, don't overgive to this person. Allow this person to prove to you that they've changed. All right? Don't just fall real quick with this person. Allow them to prove that they've changed and that they really, they're really willing to put in the work. They're really willing to put in the work for you. But this person did go through an awakening. And they and now they know what they want. And, they, and they, they're like, for, the, for those of you, this person left home, they're homesick. They want to come back. Okay, um... Show me advice. Now I get it. Show me advice, please, for Gemini. It's so wild. Yeah, this person may come back fast, or I feel like you feel like they're going to come back fast, and that this person has been in and out with you, and they always get what they want with you, and, and that's irritating to you with the Knight of Swords. That's what you feel like. This person is going to come in and love bomb me and leave again. And you, with the Four of Pentacles, you're holding on to past deep-seated issues that you need to release. Okay, with this King of Swords, this is about being logical and rational. Use your discernment. Okay, this, you know, the cards are not gender based. So, King of Swords, this is your energy. This is you. Spirit is telling you to use your discernment when it comes to this person. Um, you don't, don't judge them by the past. Let go with the Four of Pentacles. You need to let go because the lovers is here. All right, there's a lot of love here. There's a major choice in love. You're being put to the test with this situation. With this person coming back, you got to use your own discernment. But you have to step out of your feelings. you got to detach from them. Okay? Again, just, I said this in the beginning of the reading. Moving on from someone, 
doesn't mean that you've detached. You need to detach from all the negative feelings. You need to purge just purge them. Because this person went through an awakening. And they're going to want to prove to you that they've changed. But you, you're not going to be able to see it if you're holding on to the past. Page of Swords reverse. Yeah, you still see this person as someone who doesn't care about your feelings. And you still associate them with all the pain that they caused you. So you're going to need... You, you're like, I, I need to, you know it. You, you, you're you not going to see this person as different unless they prove to you that they changed. And that's why the overall energy is clarity of belief. Like, I'll believe them. I'll believe it when I see it is the energy that I'm getting from you. But the spirit is saying, but that's why they're refusing to see is being crowned by Blossom. Because you're refusing to see that this person is, has grown. It's just like they've grown, but you're refusing to see it. And it's just like you're not really willing to give the person a chance to prove to you that they've changed. Show me more advice for Gemini, please. And I'm not saying that you're not justified in how much this person hurt you. It's just that some people do change. And this is this even surprised me in this rating, I have to say, Gemini. But this person has changed. Yeah, you still... The magician reversed. It's just like you're causing your own <laughs> unhappiness. It's like self-sabotaging behavior. Like you, and you see this person as manipulating yourself. You're like, this person is just going to try to manipulate me. They're going to come in. They're going to say they changed. They haven't. Um, thoughts become things. So if you expect an activity, that's what you'll manifest. So it's a mindset. And I know it's not as easy, but you have to try if you want this to work. The magician reverse is your energy. Okay? Because with the world, this is fulfillment. This is a whole new cycle. Okay? This is wholeness, completion, happiness. All's well that ends well. Look at the star. Have faith. That's the overall energy. You you guys can heal this. There's happiness. If you have faith in the future. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, Gemini. This person is coming forward to make things right. Wow. This person is coming back. The person coming towards you is someone who's coming back. They did the work. They went through the awakening, their transformation, the spiritual transformation, and they want to make things right with you. Okay? Show me more for this person's feelings, though. Uh, this really surprised me because this person is still going through the transformation. Let's be clear. Let's be clear because I pulled the cards in the beginning, this, this selfish energy. They're going to come in once they continue. So don't reach out to this person. Do not re reach out to this person, Gemini. Let this person come to you. Don't sit around waiting for this person. Continue to heal yourself because there's a lot of negative energy and feelings you need to heal from. So you work on your healing. Let this person work on their healing. And the divine will bring this person towards you when you decide that's, that's what you want. Because I got the two of cups here. Yep, there's mutual love and respect. There's a lot of love between you two, by the way. So this person is coming in as the person that you've always wanted this person to be with. I mean, always wanted this person to be, okay? But you, with this 10 of wands, you're burdened right now. Like, you're overwhelmed. You're stressed. You feel like this person took me for granted. You're still in these energies. So you are, you're going to have to, you can't really move on if you don't release yourself. If you don't, I mean, detach yourself from all this shit that you're sitting on. Like, with this king of swords for some of you, there's someone here that gives excellent advice. There can be somebody around you that's logical and, and, and very balanced and very logical. And they're giving you good advice. Listen to that person. That's a very direct message. Damn. I, was, I dropped the refusing the C card. I can't go. I can't go get it. But anyway, yeah, so there's a chance in love, real love with this person. But you you still in this energy with the King of Cups reverses. This person is just looking out for themselves. That's causing your own unhappiness. That comes from your upbringing, Gemini. In your upbringing, you might have yourself, you know, lacked security and stability, you know, in your upbringing, you might have witnessed divorce in your household or raised by a single parent because of the issues that they had in their relationships. And you might have moved around a lot from one place to another. And it's hard for you to feel emotionally safe and stable with somebody. And then here you have this person that wasn't sure of you and made things worse. And now they triggered, they triggered a landfall of all these negative emotions that are attached to your childhood. And that's why it's so hard for you to see anything other than what has happened to you. Okay? It could be connected to your childhood, some childhood traumas. Okay? Um, before I close out this reading about what's coming towards you, I'm going to pull some more cards. Show me the messages, please, for Gemini. Gemini. 
worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Yeah. The divine is bringing this person back to you. And the divine had their hands in this person putting in the work and, and being a better version of themselves so they can come back to you. You deserve love. You are lovable. But you don't see it. And that's why it hasn't arrived. And that's why this person is still, you know, don't get it twisted. This person is still going through their transformation, their spiritual awakening. They're still going through it. Again, we pulled their energies and they're still there. So again, don't go after this person. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you got it to take. And what that means by make the effort is not picking up the phone and calling this person or texting them. No, it's about you detaching from all the negative feelings and to allow yourself to release them and to allow this person to, you know, to so you can use your your logic your logical thinking and your emotion instead of your emotional and, and use your discernment and decide if this is the person that you can be with. Let this person prove to you that they change. That's you making the effort. When they do come back around, okay? Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay? So there's a lot of attraction that you do have for this person, but they just push you through hell. And you've been through hell prior to them. Children, your love life is being affected by children. You may have a child or children with this person. And that's what makes it hard for you to move forward from this person as well. But it's not really about the children and staying for the children. It's about you using your discernment and deciding what is best for you. And to allow this person to prove to you that they've changed and that they can change. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Gemini, the cards do not lie, okay? So before I close out this reading, I'm going to pull some lovers oracle cards about the person coming towards you. Yeah, it can happen. If a person wants to change, they can change. They just have to want to put in the work. This person is putting in the work now. I feel like they went through a dark night of the soul. They're still going through it. And the divine is at work to bring this person back to you. However, we don't sit around, right? The Empress doesn't sit around waiting for nobody. But the Empress also doesn't wallow in negative energy and negativity, right? You vibrate high. So you want to get out of that low vibrational energy and step into who you really are. That's the thing that's going to draw this person to you. And that's going to bring out the best of who you are to yourself. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. And that's what I was saying. I've been saying that is the overall tone of this entire reading. Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Yeah, once you accept that this is a situation where this person is changing and your thoughts become things and you decide that you want to manifest better for yourself, you want to manifest this healing, watch how things change in this connection. Power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Use your discernment. Use your discernment. Okay, you know what's right for you and you can and giving this person a chance is not you failing. It's you setting boundaries, knowing what it is that you want, standing on it and allowing this person to prove to you that they can rise up and meet you where you stand. And if they can't, then you know when you need to leave. Okay, but don't make any emotional decisions. Make a logical one. I know it's hard because love is not logical, but there's a need for you to see the situation outside of your pain. Okay. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Yeah, it's about balance. And in the beginning of this relationship, I saw there was a lack of that. Surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. That is your confirmation. That is your clarity of belief. Okay? The overall energy of this reading. All right? Let go and all will work out. You just got to have faith that it will. And that's a fact because what? This is faith, right? Things Have faith that things can move forward, move on, and flow once you decide that you want to heal. Once you start to have faith, things will start moving in the direction of healing. Okay? I love this for you, Gemini. I love this for you. You have this person coming in wanting to make things right. 
in the right divine timing. Just focus on your healing. Let them focus on their healing. And the universe will bring you two back together when the timing is right. All right? So those are the messages that I have for you for this reading. If it resonated, be sure to tap that like button. If it didn't resonate, please sure to tap that waving hand emoji anyway to let me know you're still here with me. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading, click on the link in the description box below. I wish you this healing, love, and light. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.